What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Scars of Battle Box for you guys. So yeah, this is the brand new Speed Duel set that's just been released today, so it should be everywhere for you to get. And of course, I got this from Big and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out, link in the description. They have all kinds of different things, and they always have the newest products too, so again, link will be down in the description. Anyway, I've been really excited about this set because I enjoy Speed Duels, and my favorite character is Joey, and he's on the front of this, and we even have Gear Freed on this, and so many cool cards. Even some older cards, like from tournament packs and stuff, that actually got reprinted in this set. So, I think that's awesome. Like, there's actually, you know, even for collectors, a big reason to collect this. So, let's go ahead, open it up, and uh, see what we get from it. Also, uh, sometime I want to see if I can get some of those uh, Speed Duel tournament packs. They're kind of like the OTS packs, but they're for Speed Duels. Those things are really expensive to find. I'd love to get a few of them for an opening, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. I've seen a few here and there, but they're really expensive. I think it's because of, like, you can get some of the original cards, like, I think Red Eyes is a hollow in there, and Blue Eyes might be as well. So a lot of the, you know, older original cards, which is pretty cool. So let me know down in the comments. And let's go ahead and open up these packs. First off, remember, you are not guaranteed a hollow. And you do not get rares in this set. It is only commons, supers, and ultra rares, okay? Just so everyone's clear. Pendulum Machine? Bakoichi? Oh, that's kind of cool. Then, uh, yeah, Fortress Well's Oath. So that's even the ritual spell for uh, Fortress Well. Yeah, I think that was actually his full name. An old tournament pack card that is still pretty expensive. Because it was only in tournament packs. A lot of nostalgia as well. Pendulum Machine, Fighting Spirit, Eternal Rest, Release Restraint, there we go. And yeah, you're not, you have four cards per pack, but there's 36 packs in a box, and I believe a box of this is like 40 bucks, so it, it's a lot cheaper to make up for that in case people are confused. So, Binding Circle, that could come in handy for sure. Fighting Spirit, Launcher Spider, seven completed. And there. If you're no, no, oh, okay. First off, if you're, what I was trying to say, if you're noticing the scratch on my hand, that's from my cat too, by the way. I feel like I should point that out. And second, there's Fortress Well, which is still really cool. I can get it from a set in 2019. That is awesome. It's more of a nostalgia thing than playability, but yeah, I guess maybe in Speed Duels would be pretty decent. Command Knight. Yeah, he's more for a nostalgia because, again, that was one of those cards that was only in tournament packs. And we even, out of the starter decks, got some cards we never got in English that Japan has had forever. So, I think that's cool. Fernity Dwarf. Yeah, there's one of the ones, I think, that uh, we didn't get. Then, another one of Fortress Will. Kind of wish he was a hollow in this. That's the only thing. That would have been kind of cool. But either way, it's fine. Or in Blacksmith Gotetsu, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, there's Gatekeeper. I don't think we ever got that in English either. Then, yes, there we go. There's one of the big reprints, actually, I want from this set. And I know a lot of people are excited about this one. Uh, Dakoichi, the Battle Enchanted Locomotive. This card is insane in GOAT format, where people are actually using older cards. It was like before GX started as GOAT format, so you use a lot of cards that are banned and a lot of older strategies. Anyway, Dakoichi is used in a ton of those because you can draw cards with him. And actually having a way to get a holographic one is really cool. I think he was also an ultimate rare, but yeah, a super rare one is really neat to see. And I think he'll definitely come in handy in speed duels. So I was pretty happy when I saw that he got a reprint. Because that is awesome. It's kind of like King of Skull Servants in the last set getting a super rare reprint. Again, another reason I like speed duels for that. And I have to admit, when you've played since the beginning, the nostalgia just wins with me. Eternal Rest. Oh, uh, an Ultra Rare after that. Oh, I didn't know this was an Ultra Rare. Uh, Mask of Darkness. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's one that lets you get a trap card from your graveyard, add it to your hand. So it, it helps you bring back your trap cards, basically. I, I'm sure a lot of you remember this older card. I didn't know that was actually an Ultra Rare. That looks really cool. <laughs> I remember seeing this card so much as a common. That really throws me off. That looks neat. I like that. All right. <laughs> Already, you know, just a couple of hollows right there. Then, oh yeah, Master Craftsman Gimiel. That was from the uh, Battle Packs, actually. Kind of cool to see that. Of course, this is kind of the new sealed play sort of thing. The new Battle Pack idea. Insect Armor, one of the Drex. Spell Power Grasp. 
That could be pretty good. Thin down the deck a little bit. Spellbinding Circle. Then uh, Break Draw. We've gotten one of those earlier, I think. That's the thing, too. With this set, I think there's is there like 20 cards in this set or something. So there's not like a, a ton either. You can get the complete set pretty much from a box. Slot Machine. Spellbinding Circle again. I just like the idea that something like Slot Machine could be playable in Speed Duels. Like, that sounds funny. A card that we just don't see anymore, but I remember seeing back in the day. Let's see, Gatekeeper. Blast Sphere. That could be really annoying, too. Blast Sphere was always pretty scary in the older video games. I could see that coming in handy. Another one of Tyrannus. I think he's the only Drac in this, unfortunately. I like to see the rest of them. Then a Crystal Seer. Oh, man. I didn't know about this one either. I, I didn't pay attention to a lot of Hollows in the set, I'll be honest. So it's a little bit of a surprise the, which ones I'm getting. But Crystal Seer, I remember whenever this card was getting a ton of hype. I think it was in Tactical Evolution back in the day, so GX era when it was first printed. Pretty good card back then. I could see that really coming handy in Speed Duels as well. That's really awesome. I think it, it might have been a Super Rare back then, too. I'm trying to remember. I think it was a Hollow. Oh, okay. We know we got something. You can tell it's a skill card, so we might have something in America, okay? <laughs> Let's see. And, yep, it is the Bandit Keith card, or one of them. I think he might have more in this. We have Heavy Metal Raiders. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, yeah, it has, like, all his different monsters on it, too. Reminds me of the, uh, the Duelist pack that came out. So, yeah, Ancient Millennium, I think. So this is really interesting. The first time each Dark Machine monster you control would be destroyed uh, by battle each turn. It is not destroyed, and if you took battle damage from the battle, it gains attack equal to after the uh, damage calculation and keeps that attack gain as long as this card is on the field. Once per turn, if a monster you control that was originally a uh, Dark Machine destroys a card on the field by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Dark Machine monster from your hand. Oh, okay. So it powers up machine monsters and you get like a free summon off of it. That is actually really good. Okay, it's kind of, yeah, it's a field spell basically uh, for Bandit Keith in, in a skill card form. That's good. Oh man, I, I think I might use that. I, I hadn't really decided what I'm going to build in Speed Duels. I mean, I've tested out just a lot of different like mix of cards. I might have to do that. I'm going to test that out for sure. The decks I've been using are all... Kind of like you would in a video game. Like, you just have some of your strongest cards, throw them together. There you go. You have a deck of cards. <laughs> so, not just a ton of strategy, honestly. So, I might have to try that. I like the artwork and everything, too. A major upset. I don't think we got that one yet. There we go. Okay. Got some cool ultra rears already. Fortress Will, seven completed. We'll pick this up. There we go. All right, last one for the rat side. All right, Infinity Dwarf, Launcher Spider, and oh, Screech is what we ended with. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, Fire Reaper. I don't know if we had that one before. It, if so, it might have been a tournament pack card or something, because it does look familiar. Either way, that's cool to see. It's another older card. I think it was like part of a fusion or something. Maybe that's why they printed it. Oh, uh, did we get a double? I wonder. <laughs> well, we know we got something. All right, which one are we getting? <laughs> Cabazalt. Then, Bandit. Okay, we have a different skill card this time. Oh, I didn't know if he had one or two in this. Anyway, I'll read off its effect, too. If your uh, light points are 1,500 or less, activate this skill. Take control of one set card your opponent says by a trap card zone. This skill can only use once per duel. So it's like a creature swap or snatch deal, but for a spell or trap card. That is really interesting. Okay. I can see that coming in handy depending on what you got, too. That could be really good. Just kind of... Depends on what your opponent has, is the only thing. If you have a good idea on it, you could really use it against them. Kind of like the other one a little bit better, though. That field spell idea sounds really scary. Another one, Screech. At least I already got two of the skill cards, by the way. That's usually what I try to hunt down the most out of these, because I think they look cool. 
the end. Gravity X. Oh, beginning of the end. I don't think we got one of those yet. Always has like the hardest artwork to see because it's like basically a black picture on camera. So, <laughs> yeah. It's always one of those I can't see through the camera. Then, oh, insect armor. For a second, I thought that was hollow. That would have been kind of cool. <laughs> just because. Hadn't seen just a ton of Bennett Keith's cards, though. I mean, we get slot machine over and over, but I think Barrel Dragon's in this. Oh, oh, for a second, I thought I called it, but this one is really good. I, I didn't know about this one either. I, I thought it was hollow, but I didn't know it was ultra rare. A Book of Life. That is really good. I mean, for zombie players, they're definitely going to want to hunt this down. I think that was one, too. Like, back in the day, it was a hollow, I think, in, like, a tournament pack or, or something, if I'm not mistaken. It might have also been reprinted in, like, a, a Legendary Collection or something, too. I know I've seen hollows of this. But uh, that is really good for zombie players. So, yeah, if you're waiting on another card for you, there you go. <laughs> that is cool to see as an ultra rare, too. I like that. So we're using a deck that uses, like, the bone skill cards and all that from the last set. Yeah, you're going to want to get that one. The previous set was more themed around bones and all the zombies. Gatekeeper. All that. That is really cool, though. Need to do that with Book of Moon as well, right? <laughs> now, that'd be cool. Have an easy hollow reprint like that. Oh, here's a here's an interesting one. A Troop Dragon. This one's kind of cool because it's one of those that you can just, you know, get destroyed you get to get another one out. Kind of cool for, like, stalling and everything, too, especially as a super rare. That's nice. It was, like, in one of the first sets. I forget. It might have been, like, the third one or something. It was, like, Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler. Something along those lines. I remember it from back in the day. I'm sure I used it back in the day. Launcher Spider. Seven completed. What if we can get that Barrel Dragon? I think it might be a hollow. Like a super rare, which that could be good in speed duels as well. Security orb. At least I'm still seeing a few cards here and there that are different. Slot machine. Then, oh, here we go. All right, now here's the card I was excited about because I knew he was in this, obviously because he was on the cover when it was first revealed, and that is Gearfried the Swordmaster. I remember when this card first came out and everything, too. I actually ran him because I'm a huge Joey fan, and Gifrey the Iron Knight, I guess you can kind of tell by the username, is one of my favorite cards in the game. So having a, you know, a card where he takes off his armor finally is like to his full power is so cool. I don't remember if he was a hollow or not back then, but I'm pretty happy about this one. That looks really cool. So I, I, maybe I could even use that in speed. I don't know. I have plenty of the cards, so I can probably make a few different decks. I never know if you guys would like to see deck profiles though on speed duels or not, so let me know if you want to see more content on it. I would never completely change to it because I like all of Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, yeah, just let me know. Because I still prefer the main game, but speed duels, I do like the idea, and it's fun. It's fast duels, and oh, <laughs> might have got something else, but yeah, I enjoy them. Okay, do we get a double, or is, does he have another card? Okay, another one abandoned. All right, so we did get a double. Not bad. I mean, that's a cool card. Again, I just like how I'm getting a card of Bandit Keith in 2019. That <laughs> That's cool. Never would have expected that. There we are. Blast Fear. I don't know if I've... I think I've only gotten like one of Release or Strength, by the way. So I need a few more of those. I hadn't noticed too many of them. Gonna need him if we're gonna use Gear Freed. Eternal Wrist. Oh, there's one. Okay. And then, okay, yeah, we have two more packs. A lot of cards to go through on this. Then, Empress Mantis. And, last pack. Okay, what are we gonna end with? Can we end with the Hollow? Let's see. Share your energy with me. Hit that like button. Maybe they'll give us some blood. Okay, we know it's not a skill card. Release your strength. Okay, I think I actually do have a playset now. Then, ah, uh, unfortunately not. Someone didn't hit the like button. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, I got a lot of the cards I wanted from this set, so I'm definitely happy with that. We even got a double of one of the skill cards. I got gear freed. I mean, seriously, that looks so amazing. 
Uh, let's see, Book of Life. Now that looks really cool as well. Another one. There's the other bandit. Uh, the the skill card too. Uh, I might try that out. I'm not really sure. I'll have to get some barrel dragons and stuff. Crystal Seer, Mask of Darkness, which I never would have thought I would have seen, and even the Koichi. That's an awesome box. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And of course I will catch you guys later.